kettle. Fancy cooked in avocado oil chips. We've got crushed sea salt and lime and chili. Let's do it. <laughs> These are new, aren't they? Yeah, six dollars fifty at Coles or Woolworths. Kettle cooked in avocado oil. At Kettle, we're passionate about crafting great tasting chips. We go to great lengths as we source the very best ingredients for our delicious flavor combinations. Now we've discovered next level goodness, our golden Aussie potato slow cooked the unique kettle way in pure avocado oil. With a gentle buttery taste, they're seasoned with some simply perfect flavors. We hope you'll love this avocado oil selection from Kettle, proudly Australian made. No artificial colors or flavors, vegan friendly, no added MSG, gluten free. The ingredients of this one are so simple. It's got like potatoes, avocado oil, and sea salt. Nothing else. That should taste pure buttery goodness. Have you ever cooked with avocado oil? Costs like $12 for a small bottle. Have you? Yeah, I, I have. It, Does it taste good? It doesn't taste like avocados. I don't like avocados normally, but I can cook with avocado oil. It, even notice. it has a slight tang to it, like an avocado-y tang, but the texture is just normal oil. So. Why do I think of tang when I think of avocado? It's just got a slight like taste to it that reminds me of avocados, but it's like butter. It's like cooking in butter, but a vegetable butter. Vegetable butter. It's got a vegetable taste to it. This one's got heaps more stuff in it. Yeah. Potatoes, avocado oil. Sugar, natural flavours, salt, spices, mineral salt, yeast extract, onion powder, and herbs. Alright. I guess we'll start with this one. Start with the simple. Oh, the vegans are going to be happy with us today. No, you said you weren't going to do any more for a while. Too late. They just look like you can normal help chips. It. Maybe you're a closet vegan. Definitely not. I was eating beef jerky last night. Yeah, but you keep going back to it. You must really want to. Nah. Do one. I'm, I'm just a healthy person, that's all. Closet healthy person. As you can tell from our channel. They just look the same. Nah. Exactly the same? Almost. Almost. <laughs> oh, wow. I was expecting them to be a bit more. Yeah, you, you can't really tell the difference. But you'll be able to mm. tell from the tang of the lime. Cheers, big ears. Oh. That's crunchy. They are way crunchier than a normal kettle chip. They're way crunchier than I expected. They've got a different texture to normal kettle chips. You mean normal Aussie kettle chips? Well, these are Aussie kettle chips. But yeah. These are way crunchier. Yeah, that's nice. They're better. That's They're good. Nice. Since normal kettle chips cost um, six bucks anyway, these are better if you can get them at a decent price. These are twenty percent off when I bought them. They do kind of taste healthy though. Like I probably want them to be a bit saltier. They're not salty enough for me. Yeah. There were only three flavors. So there were crushed sea salt, lime and chili, and then lemon and sea salt. So I went with the chili one instead of the lemon one. I like them. They taste healthy. They are healthy. They're too healthy. I don't like them. I eat chips because I want to eat junk. These taste the same as those Woolworths Simply, you know, those ones that the Smith's Chip Factory made? Those Simply Deliciousness chips. Link below. <laughs> but these, they taste like a premium chip to me, which is good. I feel like normal kettle chips are getting into the thins and yeah, territory. Yeah, they weren't as so. good. These taste good and premium, whereas the normal kettle chips taste a bit cheap now. So I'm happy with that. As a, I can't really tell that it's cooked in a different oil. It just kind of tastes a bit bland. They do taste... I think they have a slight buttery flavour to them. Just a tinge of like popcorn-y butter. Well, they do, yeah. They kind of leave like an oily yeah, like, kind of feel in your mouth. 
Anyway. I don't know. Normal chicks leave an oily feel in your mouth too. Good luck. Lime. Not your favourite. Oh, they're limey. They smell very limey. They are very limey. They're not so uh, spicy though. Yeah, that would be mostly lime. These taste like Thai chips. Did you say about anything with lime in it? Yeah, but lime and chilli is a Thai kind of flavour. But these remind me of Red Rock Deli Thai chips, which is... They're nice. I probably would like a bit more chilli and a bit less lime. Mm. They taste decent. I like it. But they're crunchy. A bit more flavorful than the crushed sea salt, but they still kind of taste healthy. What flavor would you like them to make for you if you could choose a flavor? I like the chili flavor, which they already straight, make. Straight no, chili, yes, no lime. Without the lime. Like a really hot green flavor. Chili salty flavor. No, oh, well, not bad. Good effort, kettle. I'm liking it. More Would flavors, you buy please. This instead of the normal kettle. If they were half price, or at least like minimum, these are only twenty percent off. So instead of six fifty, they were like five twenty. Not low enough. They need to be thirty, forty, or fifty percent off to make me buy it. If I ever get them half price, I'll be stocking up. The more of the lime and chili one I eat, the sweeter it gets. Mm. I don't. I don't like that about, I don't like ch sweet chips. Sugar was like the third ingredient. I want salty chips, but then I eat this and then I'm like, it's not salty enough. It's not my favourite chip. Alright. The crunchy texture is nice though. If I'm thinking about it as a healthy chip, I reckon... These are what kettle chips should be. These are what... If this was the standard range and they had all those standard flavours like chilli... Honey soy chicken and the rest. These would be what I would go to all the time. I'm liking the the feel in my mouth afterwards. I'm liking the texture of them. I'm liking everything about them. Jeez. See, you are a closet vegan. No, I'm a closet high quality ingredient person because I feel that normal large conglomerate companies are cheapening getting the cheapest possible ingredients they can at the moment to make the best profits available. So if the if these chips cost six fifty, or if normal kettle chips cost six fifty, I would say that the ingredients probably cost them less than a dollar. So these ones I would say that the ingredients maybe cost them two dollars. So it's high quality. So I'm glad they're I'm glad that a company is going the other way with quality. It's getting higher quality. So that when I eat it, I'm like, oh yeah, this is nice. This is high quality rather than eating it and then going, geez, bloody pizza shapes. You've got worse. You're crap. I hate you Still now. Still mad about that. Yes. Pizza shapes. You ruined my life. All right. What rating then? You speak of them so highly. Nine. No, actually, eight and a half because... Um, I still like those American chips better. These are pretty good though. Boulder Canyon, pretty good still. I like those way better. I wouldn't buy these, either of these. I'd give the salt one a five. Oh my god. The chili and lime one, I'd probably give like a three and a half. Oh my god, what'd you give normal kettle chips? <laughs> Almost higher than better. that. Better. They have better flavours. These just don't do it for me. There's no MSG in it. I could really just not eat anymore. They don't... They really don't do anything for me. Linda is a harsh mistress. She don't give free points. I was trying to talk you up, Kettle. I was trying to talk up avocados for the first time in my life. <laughs> and Linda has shut me down. I did so much sport tonight. And I didn't eat very much. And I'm, like, very hungry. So they should taste really good. And they don't. I'm sorry, Kettle. She angry. She's got low blood sugar at the moment she mad hangry hangry linda all right sorry kettle you almost failed i tried to get you up but linda you rate them the same yeah 
I went back to an eight and a half because yes, they could do with more flavor combinations, but I like a, I don't mind chili and lime. I'm not as opposed to lime as you, but they could do with more chili. Anyway, pretty good effort, I feel. All right, these are yours. Okay, thank you. Bye.